Welcome to Immigrations and Jobs Talk Show. Donald Trump is making headlines again with bold promises as he prepares to take office in January. This time, it's all about tariffs, a move that's already stirring up global economic tension. Let's dive into what this could mean for trade, jobs, and immigration here in the US in a series of posts on his Truth Social account. Trump announced sweeping tariffs targeting three of America's biggest trading partners Mexico, Canada, and China. Here's what he's proposing. A 25% tariff on all products from Mexico and Canada, and an additional 10% tariff on Chinese goods on top of the existing duties already in place. According to Trump, this plan addresses two major issues, the flow of illegal fentanyl into the US and what he calls an invasion of illegal immigration. Now, this isn't the first time Trump has used tariffs as a tool to push his agenda. Back in his first term, he made headlines for launching an aggressive trade war with China, citing unfair trade practices and intellectual property theft. That led to billions of dollars in tariffs on Chinese goods and even retaliation from Beijing, which hit US farmers hard. It was a tense time for international trade, and it looks like history might repeat itself. But this time, the stakes feel even higher. Both China and Canada have already pushed back. China warns that, no one wins a trade war, emphasizing the mutual benefits of US-China economic cooperation. Canada, on the other hand, points out how essential their energy supplies are to the US economy and workers. And that brings us to the USMCI the trade agreement between the US, Mexico, and Canada, which was renegotiated under Trump's watch in 2020. Analysts say the new tariffs could strain that deal, especially with another renegotiation set for 2026. Trump's framing of these tariffs as a national security measure adds another layer of complexity, a tactic he's used before. Remember the steel and aluminum tariffs of 2018? Those sparked retaliation from allies like Canada and the European Union. Could we see a repeat? Economists are already raising red flags. Tariffs, after all, aren't free. The costs are typically passed on to importers and, ultimately, consumers. In an economy already dealing with inflation, higher prices on imported goods could hit American wallets hard. But Trump's inner circle insists these tariffs are about bringing jobs back to the US they argue that targeting foreign imports pressures other countries to negotiate better trade terms while incentivizing companies to invest in American manufacturing. It's a strategy aimed at creating jobs and boosting economic self-reliance, but the question is will it work? For businesses, especially those dependent on international trade, these changes could mean big disruptions. Companies might need to rethink their supply chains or even explore alternative staffing solutions, like outsourcing, to stay competitive amidst rising costs. On a broader level, these tariffs tie directly into Trump's immigration stance. By linking trade penalties to issues like drug smuggling and border security, he's doubling down on his tough-on-immigration message. But will these measures actually address the root causes of these issues? That's up for debate. So, where does this leave us? Trump's tariff threats have sparked international concern, domestic debate, and plenty of uncertainty for businesses and consumers alike. As his second term approaches, all eyes will be on how these policies play out, and what they mean for the future of American trade and immigration. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.